for my friends. All right, welcome back to you know du Duel Links or in uh, Duel Five out of out of this set. So uh, okay, can I just talk about Pegasus himself? <laughs> Cause Pegasus himself is actually I, I would call him like the best character out of the M, but he's a very interesting character. Uh, and there it is. There there's the reason why. Oh, uh, the freaking Yugi boy. I, I, I just I just find that really funny. Uh, I, I, I just really do like Pegasus. Pegasus. Pegasus is himself is pretty cool. Like he's underrated. I, actually, I don't know how rated is he, so I can't really say how underrated or overrated he is. Uh, but in Duel Links, he's one of the very few characters who has the skill Master of Rights, which is a ritual-based one. I know that part of the best character for rituals is Alexis. Mostly because she has like a different skill for ritual monsters, but uh, Master of Rights is uh, arguably better than Master of Rights. Uh, Master of Rights too, but uh, yeah. So, so yeah, Alexis is probably the, mo the, the most known like ritual user in all of Duel Links. Heck, all of Yu-Gi-Oh actually. Now that I think about it, because not many characters actually have ritual monsters. I know like Yami Yugi hat does with BLS, who's coming up next. And he also has Magician of Black Chaos, and arguably like the Dark Magician, like what Magician, the Regular Magician of Chaos. And I'm pretty sure one of Yugi's has has a, has a voice line with with a Magician of Dark, what's it called, Dark Magician of Chaos Max. Um, which is absolutely nuts. But no, like the one character in all of Yu-Gi-Oh most known for Ritual Monsters, Alexis, because like she's the only character actually that used a lot of them, and. Pegasus himself it, ha, has like a ritual, uh, ritual monster thing with, because his main guy is relinquished, which actually I don't use because I, I don't know, I just don't feel like using relinquished like at all. Uh, but yeah, it was because his main mo his main monster is relinquished, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, like relinquished is the only ace monster that's a ritual monster, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and by Ace Monster, I mean, like, uh, they have, like, a summon animation for. I mean, yes, uh, other characters, um, have, um, Ritual Monster animation, like, again, Wax of the Soldier is coming later. And now he does have, like, uh, a whole animation for his BLS. However, it's not his Ace Monster. I mean, I don't know what Yugi's Ace Monster is. It's not a Ritual Monster. It has a Ritual Monster version, but it ain't it. So, yeah, so yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, so I do like Pekka. I, I kind of figured it was, it was like more involved more, but um, but he's a good he's a good character because like when you kind of get why Pegasus is, is who he is, this kind of character who like who knows kind of knows what he's doing is wrong, but he really wants to um, save his wife from death. Um, goes to revive his wife, but it's like. Um, his, I think like, the scene was like his wife died and what, as, soon as, as soon as they got married, which is absolutely the worst thing could possibly happen. It is the worst. I'm not married myself, so I don't have any uh, any examples of, of it, but it must suck really, really hard. But uh, but kudos on Pegasus for trying to learn ancient Egyptian culture just to make a card game with a bunch of god cards and then use the He's a freaking uh, millennial iron to try to revive his wife, like, even if it's, like, the whole idea is kind of weird. I'm surprised that Pegasus is involved in the DSOD movie now, now that I think about it. Because you would think that, like, um, uh, you think that the stuff that he's on the Millennium Islands and the each of stuff, you would think that Pegasus would be involved more in it, but I don't really remember if he was. I know he probably was there in the flashback or something, but I don't think he was there, like, at all. Is he dying in Bonds Before Time or something? I don't even know. I'm just saying, Pegasus should have been more involved with the SOD. I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe that way he probably is showing a lot more of his, uh, freaking, like, relinquished fusions. I don't know. Uh, anyway, Sun Hotness, as you can see over there in. And of course, once I try to KO, it's going to go to Silent Magician level 8. Or Silent less, not as hot, but more powerful. 
So yeah, they go. So they go sudden hotness, and then goes to the sudden not as hot, but but arguably more powerful. Which is a big problem because well, I do have quite a bit of spell cards there, and dark, and just slime magician the late is kind of no kind of nopes out on some spells. I think I said no on traps. I don't remember. I know I've used it a lot, but not not much. So anyway. Um, I would, say, I would say kudos for Yami for having a, a deck based around Silent Magician, but yeah, kind of nuts. Anyway, uh, it goes my trap card. So anyway, um, I don't have much else to talk because as you can see, I really don't care about Gladiator Beasts. They're good, but I just don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about something like... A, a deck that I'm actually like. Again, like I said for the third time, like Black Ops the Soldier, who is the ne next set. So, I kind of want to talk more about them. But I kind of want to talk about them while on their set. So, I kind of want to end this set as much as possible, or as fast as possible. Of course, it's not going to be a thing, but we'll do whatever. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, we're nearing the end of this, so, I guess that is it for, uh, this set, so, uh, yeah, see you guys later for Black Lives the Soldier, a deck that I actually really, really like. Come far and learn much, but you're still a novice compared to me.